The new USW Ultra is a powerful yet affordable PoE Plus switch from Ubiquiti, starting at about $130. In this video, we'll take a look at the switch, we'll unbox it, we'll set it up to unify, and we'll compare it to other switches that you can get. My name is Bogdan Shperny, founder of Apex One Tech. All my content is free to you. All I ask is that you subscribe and smash the like button. Let's go. This was Unify's announcement with the two new Ultra products. And down here we see the USW Ultra or their Switch. So PoE Switch. This Ultra Switch is part of their new Ultra lineup. So they added, they already had the Swiss Army Knife, this Wi-Fi access point, but they added the Cloud Gateway and down here the Ultra. So the Ultra is made to be kind of a lower cost, but very powerful networking devices. So that's the cloud gateway and on the right, the switch. And this is the example of the deployments with that Swiss Army knife, a bunch of access points, right? The you deploy this in an area where you need maybe kind of instance, powerful Wi-Fi to cover a large area as they show here. And maybe your internet is not as reliable. It starts at about $130 for the no AC adapter. Your outputs here will depend on which version you buy. It kind of shows you a example deployment here, right? You have three cameras and access points, but there's also, they sell a one with a 60 watt adapter. So that's 160 and with a 210 watts and that's 230. And this will determine your outputs that you have. So, right, you have these seven PoE plus outputs and you no know, PoE plus that gives you 30 watts maximum per port. But again, you're limited overall total power outputs based on which adapter you purchase or no adapter. So the no adapter, you'll just plug in your PoE++ as the input that will power the rest of the ports. Again, given those limitations. So you can go to their tech specs page actually, and I'll, I'll give that link in the description, but total, total available PoE, right? So it shows you here if you buy the no AC adapter and you can power it actually just PoE+. It'll give you 16 watts output, PoE++, it'll give you 42 watts. And you can actually power this with just PoE, not plus, uh, but then you don't have you don't have any PoE outputs. They're just, it just functions as a switch. And then you can also use an adapter, 60 watt PoE adapter, but uh, the one they sell, the one that you saw that they sell is a 60 watt AC adapter that gives you 52 watts. And they also sell the 210 that gives you 202 watt output and asterisks here, right? It, it depends on temperature, so be careful there. And just for some comparison, like their G4 Pro security camera, that takes about 13 watts to power, okay? So for example, if you just power this with a PoE Plus input, you know, you'll, you'll be able to power one camera. You won't be able to do something like, right, what they show here in their deployment. So they're powering about five devices. So two Swiss Army knives here, and two doorbells and a voice over IP phone. Okay, so five devices, but again, you're not, you're not going to get this, you're just PoE Plus. This one's sending a PoE Plus Plus. And let's go ahead and unbox it and I'll show you what comes in the box and we'll adopt it to our Unify network. All right, here's the box for the switch and this specifically is the 60 watts. I imagine the 120 is larger and the no power adapter is smaller. So we just want to find this guy right here Nice clean pull. Okay, so we have an installation guide and I'll link that in the description for you guys. All right, so we have first just a instruction manual. Okay, so that's the actual power supply. So you can see for the 60 watt, it's a 54 volt 1.1 amp output, which is how you get that's 60 watts. This guy is solid. Then we just have the power cable here. And this cable, as you can tell, obviously it's removable. And this cable is about two feet in length from here to here. And this one, by the way, so from this edge to the end is five feet. And this brick itself is about three inches. Then we have the switch itself. All right, so the status LED indicator here, the reset button, of course, and our seven PoE plus outputs, one through seven, just the Unify Ubiquiti logo. So the inputs for the optional 60 watt or 210 watt inputs, AC power supplies here. 
And of course, the PON++ ports. And it does show you the model name here. So the USW Ultra 60W in this case. And it has the soft touch padding if you just want to set this on a desk. And the size, I mean, this is uh, probably less than a pound. So it's about eight inches in length, three inches width, and like an inch and a quarter high, okay? Then we have some hardware with the mounting template. And then we have the mounting bracket itself. So very similar to, for example, their power strip. If you install it vertically, you know, it's going to slide down here and it's magnetic. So for instance, it's going to be this orientation. So this way is up, goes on here, slides up, clicks in. Also has the soft touch, so you can actually leave it like that. Place it anywhere, right? So in case you put on something metal that you don't want to scratch. And then the hardware here, so it has, we have two screws and two drywall anchors. And then this template can be used, right? It's just showing you the size of the switch and where you put the mounting holes. And it looks like actually you can slide this on in either direction. Okay, so let's go ahead and power this on. Now, if you bought the no power supply version, then right, you would actually grab your PoE++ Ethernet port and you're going to plug in here. Now, this one's not a++ PoE. However, you'll notice that even without a PoE plus or plus plus, it does power the switch and the switch will work. You just won't get any PoE outputs. So we want to get our power adapter. Let's plug that in. And this end into the AC or DC input, I guess. Now, once the indicator is solid white, we know it's ready to adopt into our unified network. Okay, so now in the browser, you go to unify.ui.com and in this example, I'm adopting the switch to the Unify Express. So just select that, go into network, go to Unify devices. And yeah, pretty quickly you should see the switch on here. So depending on which one you bought, that's the one you should show here. So we have the 60 watt version and we're going to go ahead and click to adopt. Now you can also do this on your mobile device as well with the Unify app and it could be even easier. I'm actually getting a notification right now on my iPad to adopt this. So you can get that ready as well. Okay, so there we go. Adopted and it's already updated. All right, and it's showing me where I'm connected to. Okay, so that easy. And you can also adopt this to other devices like the Dream Router, right? Another Cloud Gateway. And obviously the uh, new Cloud Gateway Ultra as well. So let's click on this device, okay, so we can see what's happening here. I currently only have one thing plugged into this PoE ports, PoE plus ports, and this is just a camera. Okay, so it's actually showing me, right, driveway camera here is on port three. My parent device, right, so it's plugged in directly to the UX. Let's get back in here and click on insights. Not much, just shows the memory. Okay, so 70%. So we can, of course, name it here. I'll just keep the original name. You can select what it's powered by in case, I guess, uh, maybe I misread that, but it is powered by 60 watts. And I'll leave this all as it is right now. So we can also go into Port Manager. Okay, so I just plugged in another device to the Ultra just so you can see it. So now we have in two, we also have our hoops, like a home bridge plugged in. So you'll notice with this one, you know, this is showing you live kind of power consumption on the IP camera here, about three watts. Okay, this is just a simple fixed lens camera. So you can see all that. Uh, the hoops is not taking any power. Okay, it's just uh, getting the ethernet through it, the internet. So you can also just click into it and get more information, rename this if you want to. And for example, here I can just disable, sorry, you can disable the port, but I can also disable the PoE. Right, if I really don't need, if I know for sure it's not taking any, any power. And so for the ones that are, so let's go to port three. Well, right now 
you can actually see you can select multiple ports and configure things in bulk, but let's just get port three. And you can see because it is sending power, you can also power cycle this port. And the same thing, rename, right? And click into it, see what's happening there. So these are your seven PoE ports. There's of course, even more advanced options, right? VLAN, a lot of advanced networking that you can do here, right? You can go here into manual mode. And if you wanna know more about this, actually Mac Telecom has very good very good videos on how to sell this up. So I'll, I'll link his channel below for sure. I learned a lot from him, but you can set that all up here if you need to as well. Now let's just cancel. And that kind of in general or high level is the benefits of having a managed POE switch like this from Unify. So I mean, we can also obviously see it here in topology if you go here. Okay, so we see our internet coming in. This is our main console and running the network OS. And then the switches here, we can see what's routed to it. Other, these are wireless clients. So you can also get to it like this, right? There's kind of many ways to access this. Now this ultra switch is not necessarily the most affordable one from Ubiquity. So you can actually go, so if you go to tech specs and I'll have this linked below, but you go to switching, actually let's go tech switching. And they have this new compare feature. So click on compare and can actually just filter out through here. Well, maybe we can filter here first. Okay, so you can kind of filter by their categories, but also go here to filters and you can select specific ones to look at. So maybe ones that are comparable in this range, let's do. Okay, so I just filtered it to these four. So we have the, well, the ultras are the same, just different power inputs, right? So Pro 8, PoE, and, and just looking at PoE switches. Now comparing these, the light 8 PoE, that's gonna be your most affordable option. It's at, comes in around 110, typically okay, USD. It still needs a power adapter. So see, it, it tells you what's the available PoE, 52 watts with a 60 watt external power adapter, right? So th this is one option. So it has, you know, it says eight ports and, but really what you get here, so you see this 110 you get only four of the ports are PoE plus. All right, so that's probably why, why it's a little cheaper. And then you also have, well, of course you have the Ultra. Sorry, 130, then you can keep going up in water, so 60 to 10. And then really kind of the next, maybe kind of mid-entry level, okay? So it ha has higher throughputs. Uh, you see you have eight gigabit ports here and six of them are PoE plus and two of them are PoE plus plus, right? So you can get 60 watts of output per port on those PoE plus plus. Now there's also the Pro 8 PoE. So here, yes, you do get actually eight PoE ports and two of them are actually PoE plus. Okay, so if you actually have something high power, maybe like a video conferencing phone uh, that requires PoE plus plus that you can run from there. And not only that, so it does start, so the Ultra, if you go with the 210 even, right, the highest level, that's 230, $230, and the Pro 8 PoE is 350, okay? So it's much higher, but you do also get two SFP ports here, right there, including the other eight PoE plus and the two PoE plus plus within that eight, okay? And it's also a layer three switch as compared to the other ones are all layer two. So if you don't need that and you don't need actual eight outputs, you just need seven, then the Ultra, Right, and if layer two is fine for you, the ultra is just perfect for you. And when you're designing your network, of course, consider how much PoE output you need, and always right leave some for extra. You want at least one, probably extra ports. You know, if you actually need exactly seven devices, probably better you know to get a switch with an additional port because most likely you'll be adding something in the future. And same thing for power consumption. So you know, if you if you know that you're going to be using 42 watts. Uh, don't get the no AC adapter, get the 60 watts AC adapter, right? So you have a little bit of headroom, it gives you 52 watts and you'll be good to go. Hit the like button and subscribe if you learned something new. Of course, I'll have in the description all the links to all the switches that we talked about. The only thing we don't have right now, as far as I know, is we don't have a way to buy a separate AC adapter for that Ultra Switch from Unify. So that would be kind of cool, right? You could buy maybe the Switch non-AC adapter version. And then if you actually need more PoE, you can just buy the adapter separately. But as of now, we don't have that yet. If you set this up, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Take care.